Hello, it's Miss Nicole from the South Fayette and Bridgeville Libraries again. And I'm here today to talk to you about a great story and some activities to go along with it. Today, I wanted to do a story about my favorite author and illustrator, Eric Carle. Today, I searched www.youtube.com. I clicked on it, and then in the search bar, I typed Eric Carle my favorite author and illustrator. After I found Eric Carl, I clicked on animated stories and I came to this great page. He's got lots of wonderful collage stories. He's the famous author of The Very Hungry Caterpillar, but I wanted to do, Papa, please get the moon for me. It's by Illuminated Films. It has beautiful, soothing music. That's about seven minutes long. And after you watch it, come on back for some great moon activities. Did you like that great story about the moon and how it changes? Well, some things that you can do um, are you could make a telescope. If you have a paper towel tube, which I do not, you could use that. So I just got a piece of computer paper and I rolled it up and then I made the moon phases on it. This is great at night to look up into the night sky and look at all the valleys and the craters in the moon. Not in the daytime. Look at it at night. The sun is too bright in the day. The sun is what gives the moon its light. The moon is just a big rock. So it needs the sun to help illuminate it. Some other great activities are making the moon faces out of paper or chalk. I made the moon in all its phases out of computer paper. But if you want something sturdier, you could use paper plates. Those would be great. Or you could go outside and make all these phases with chalk. The girl in our story saw the moon change size and shape, just like we see it up in the sky every month. First, we might see a nice big round full moon, and then it looks like it's going away. We only see what looks like a half of the full moon, but it's really a quarter because we don't see the ones in the back. And we definitely can't see the other half of it. That's the third quarter. Finally, we have the waning crescent. It's like a C. And it looks like it's going away even more. That's because the shadow of the earth is in the way. Because the sun is shining on it. Then we have no moon at all. But it's called the new moon. It's up there. We just can't see it because of the shadow. Then it looks like it's coming back on. We've got our waxing crescent. We're waxing the moon back on the sky that we can see. Then we see another half of it. This is called the first quarter. Remember, we can't see the back side and the shadow is in the way on the other side there. So we call it the first quarter. And finally, it's back to being a full moon again. You can hop to each phase and say its name. You can jump to the different phases. Or you could pick up a phase like the girl in the moon after her papa got it for her. And you could dance around. Here I am dancing with the full moon and I am dancing around the other phases. You could do that too. Pick up your favorite just like the girl in the story. Throw it in the air. Have great fun with your moon phases. My final activity for Papa Please Get the Moon for Me by Eric Carl is doing some painting. Find some dark blue construction paper, some white paint, some yellow paint, and paint the night sky with your favorite moon phase. Mine is the waxing crescent, where it's starting to come back into the night sky, where we can see it. Then I started making some stars. It's pretty neat to paint on dark paper, instead of always using white. 
So have fun and I hope you enjoyed these activities. Bye-bye.